So I walk in, I'll never forget the day. I walk in with buckets, with fish tanks, with octopi, spraying ink everywhere. And even the scientists, while I'm walking through the hallways of Georgetown, they're looking at me like I'm crazy. I have a crowd behind me of people I don't even know who are watching to see the results. They all say, this is the octopi kid. This kid who's trying to do cancer research in an octopus. So when I was a kid, I loved the ocean. And my interest for the ocean led me to watch this Nova special on horseshoe crabs. This is Riley Edis, talking about how a TV special he watched in high school led him to develop a potential cure for cancer using horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs have a protein inside of them that acts like a name tag. It tags bacteria and it tells the horseshoe crab's body to destroy it. Okay, so this protein identifies and kills bacteria. But how does that relate to cancer? Well, it led Riley to ask this question. If we can take their name tag, take a bit of the patient's tumor, mix them together and stick it back in the patient, will you be able to teach the body to recognize and destroy the cancer? So Riley is a sophomore. That means he's 15 years old. And what I did is I constructed the vaccine at my high school and I tested it in octopi and starfish. So I inject them with the vaccine and then I also injected them with a dye. So he made two injections. The vaccine is the bad stuff, the cancer mixed with the protein name tag, and the red dye, which lets us see how the immune system responds. So we sit down in this huge imaging unit and we put the first octopi in. I didn't even try for the control. I went straight for the octopi that I injected my vaccine, the cancer vaccine in. And what I should see is a red dot, a little dot that shows that all the immune cells move to where I injected the vaccine. So, if there's a red dot, this octopus is attacking the cancer. It was almost still in the room as the image was collecting. It's building, it's building. It felt like hours, and after a couple of seconds, the image popped up. We saw the red dot. Riley went on to win the Intel International Science Fair. But it wasn't the awards, it wasn't the news, it wasn't the universities that asked him to speak. Riley had one specific moment that put it into perspective. In junior year of high school, I had been asked by Relay for Life to speak about my research. And after I was walking away, this little girl came up to me. She said, will you be able to fix me? And I think that's when I, I realized the big picture of what I was doing. My words of nanoparticles weren't just nanoparticles, they were hope to the woman with breast cancer who wants to be a mother to her children, or the father I met who wants to walk his daughter down the aisle. Every day and every hour I put towards this is actually in the hope that we find something that could make a difference and help people. 